the main part of the roll cage is done on the 944 on the chump car. If there's a few things I would do differently, I would try to move that windshield header, this bar right here, up closer to the ceiling of the car. And I would have tried to move these, these A-pillar um, hoops closer to the A-pillars so that you didn't really need this kind of a, a tie-in plate. I also would have moved the main hoop, the main hoop here, it's kind of on a plane right behind the windows. I would have moved it back maybe um, six inches, six to eight inches. I probably would have placed the bottom of it closer to where the wheel well is on the sill there. That would allow for the main hoop diagonal to not need to be over a little bit for the seat to go back. That main hoop diagonal could go to that node where those other joints tie into and it would not require the driver's harness bar to be bowed out and the other thing that would do is especially on this side where you have the gas tank fill if let me change the camera angle here let me walk around to the other side of the car If the main hoop was more rearward, then the angle for that bar would be a little steeper, and I think it would have better clearance of the gas tank fill, and would allow you to really have this node, everything come in to a point, as opposed to having those bars come in a little bit uh, cattywampus like that. Um, I would have tried to make these upright bars on the hoop further in so there really was no clearance there. Um, it may even have been worthwhile to make the, the side hoops come diagonally down and continue all the way into the foot well and then have a separate bar to be the vertical bar. That may tie it all in closer. You can also see about a two inch gap between the, the knee bar and the dash there. That, um, or you know, this bend on the main hoop and the dash. I think that could have been tighter. So, again, I think going down this run and then just a little bend and then continuing down to the foot well and then having a secondary piece be this vertical may be a good way to do that. I love the, the sill bars, these bars here, and the lower bar there, I think those are fantastic. Uh, the plates where it ties into the body are quite generous, I like that. I've put in my window net latch tab, and then a little cone here on a, uh, on a real heavy duty washer that's welded on so the bar will stick in there. This cone just helps the driver line it up into the hole when the driver's sitting in the car. Um, I think the door bars came out really nice. I like the gussets quite a lot. I kind of wish the door bars bowed outward more, but um, that's going to be real tough with the clearance here. I'm going to hammer that a little bit to get it to where it is. And of course, if the main hoop moved rearward, it's going to make the door bars coming out even harder. Um, so maybe a NASCAR style bar or something would be the preferred method. And I'm looking at the, the cross brace in the back. I think this is a really good mounting point for those. I would have liked to see, you know, these, these um, diagonal stays be a little bit more to the left or you know a little more outward at the top this one to the left so it really connected all of that node there I you know the more roll cage research I do it's important that everything meets at a at one point that helps it transmit the load much much better but the the cross diet the double diag diagonals on the rear I think is great 
um, for the seat I actually had to cut the seat mounts out of the floor and lower the mounts down a little bit and that's really why the driver's harness bar is actually about an inch and a half lower than the passenger's harness bar. Um, but I think that's okay. I mean, I think in an ideal world, it would have been nice for them to, uh, to again meet at that joint there. Um, these do not provide, I think, a real stiffening effect or triangulation effect to the cage. So it's less important that they join at the nose. I've put in these little straps for the harnesses. This is a good idea. I've made a seat back brace that um, with a plunger pin can is adjustable. So I think that will work well. And uh, that's about it for the cage. It's got this um, roof diagonal. I'm not sure. Uh, really what's the best choice up there for the roof? I've seen some cars that have a V where it would come from the center of the front hoop or the windshield bar and then come to each of these nodes in the back. That's probably better as well. I wanted clear space up in this area for um, a tall driver's helmet. I have a few tall drivers on the team. So that's uh that's about it. That's the cage in a nutshell. Um, again, real happy with it. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good design. I think there's a few little enhancements I would do next time to make it a little, a little different. But overall, I, I hope I never have to use it. <laughs> I hope no one in this car has to use it. I hope that uh, it can be purely aesthetic and never have to be a, a structural component. But if it is, I hope it does its job and and you know saves whoever the driver is.